With all the holes we've made in the timeline, it was bound to split. Two to three or two to a west, the snow will never quit. Twenty-three full years of questing, the base for deaths, but that's a given. Roosgate three, hardcore ultimate Iron Man, questing through 2007. Welcome back to May 8th, 2007. Hunter, training. Coming to an end here. Just a few more levels to get. There it is, 81. Since we are 80 plus Hunter, can use five traps now. We got all these going. Basically just constantly running around. Setting traps, getting salamanders. So presumably the XP rate has increased quite a bit. So that's also good. Level 81 is God Jadinkos and Shadow Jadinkos outside of Herbaloy Habitat. Herbaloy Habitat and those don't exist yet, so. We're just working towards things that don't exist yet. Some much closer than others, as we will see. 82, Hunter. That is nothing. With all the things in Hunter, well, there's something with no level. Or a level with nothing. That's all right, though. And here is the goal. 83 Hunter. I'm just going to pick up the last salamanders here. For the XP. Because why not? One more? Yes. And we don't even have space. Okay. That is the level for Dragon Implings. And Bare Hand Dragon Implings. Do not exist yet, but will soon. And so we'll be able to catch them. Got some ideas, possibly involving Implings. We'll see how that goes. But before we do that, we got other things to get through first. We will be doing some stuff in the house here pretty soon, but not right now. Updates. On May 11th, 2007, get another update post about the whole bots and real-world trading situation. They are upgrading the detection software and focusing on cheating in the members game. Still. Also banning them in free-to-play. There's definitely more things that can be botted in members that are a bigger deal. So in total, 19,075 accounts were banned in the last week for botting. And they're also cracking down on buying gold, which is the whole crux of the problem here. If it would just stop buying gold, there'd be no bots making gold to sell. So 2,300 permanent bans have been dished out. Even given some examples of people that got banned. One person with 1,200 total level that had been playing the game for 140 days. Whether that is in-game time or time just in total. Either way, still a while. And another with 1,550 total in 89 days. We more almost name and shame bot busting business and gold buying busting people just think before you do things that can get your entire account banned come on on may 15th 2007 the next players gallery all sorts of various forms that the art is taking here stuff made with pens paints computers even clay Lots of cool stuff in the player's gallery. The quest list is now ordered in a slightly different way. Previously it was only alphabetical and possibly free to play in members, but the alphabetical ordering lumped together everything with the quests that had A, An, or The. So it was all the A quests, later all the An quests, and then all of the V quests. So if you don't remember exactly 
whether it was dig site or the dig site or a dig site, it's more difficult to find where it was in the list. So now V, A, and AN are just at the end here in the alphabetical ordering. It does make things a little easier to sort through. We're just going by release here, so whatever the quest that just came out is, that's the one we need to do. Mod Ash, now of Old School RuneScape fame, had accidentally deleted a bunch of the construction level up messages a few months ago, and they just figured that out, and they've been put back. There is a lot of things in construction, so if only parts of them were missing, that would have been hard to notice. More construction updates coming from Mod Ash. Unfortunately, only for old school. The player owned house has definitely not seen as much love here in RuneScape 3. That's a shame. Continuing on list of things, the room crafting skill guide now shows the amount of runes needed for multiple runes per essence and the level requirement for pouches. Just gives you all the rune crafting information you could ever dream of. Well, that's fun. And Home Teleport now exists on the Ancient and Lunar Spellbooks. On Ancients, it'll just bring you to Edgeville, just down in Edgeville Dungeon a little bit. And on Lunar, Home Teleport on Lunar goes to Lunar Isle, as you might expect. One more weird bug with player owned houses involved having dungeon stairs. If you build a garden above it to exit, it would make you lose materials somehow. So that's been fixed. All kinds of various weird bugs that sometimes take a little bit before they get noticed and fixed. So that's okay. It's a continuing effort here. And we'll continue with the next quest. It is Dream Mentor. This is on Lunar Island. A friend quest requires Lunar Diplomacy and used to require Edgar's Ruse for an obvious reason that we're going to get to. And also 85 Combat. Because combat is a very big focus of Dream Mentor. We will get to that pretty much at the end, realistically fighting many enemies. Required items. 20 pieces of food. You have three kinds. We're going to go with, like it says here, cabbages, onions, and potatoes. Just going to load up some sacks and take them out one at a time in order to bring 20 pieces of food in only three inventory slots, which is very convenient for us. We also need an astral rune and Realistically, a seal of passage, a gout weed, a tinderbox, a hammer, a pestle and mortar, and we've got our combat stuff ready. The gout weed is also not technically needed anymore. We absolutely should go get it, which is unfortunate, because that means we need to go get a gout weed. Everybody that finished Edgar's Ruse was thinking, oh boy. I'm sure glad I never need to go get a gout weed again. And now we need to go get a gout weed again. It's a system. Let's see what we can do here. Running. Not too far. Far enough. But still getting found. Luckily, we've at least got a good amount of run energy. Well, that's a plus. Trying to get to here. Huh. Just gonna go for it. Oh, he saw us from there. Boo. I have to be slightly more tactical when you don't have as much run energy. Well, that's okay. Get to here. He's gonna rock around there. Just kind of follow where everybody's going. See, these guys loop back this way. He's coming around there. Search the gutweed crate. You found some gutweed. There you go. It really just is as easy as that. Let's go get all the rest of the things we need. 
and get over to Lunar Isle. The quest doesn't actually begin on Lunar Isle, but rather below it. Back in the mines. But not even just back in the mines. Back in a cave in the mines. Squeeze through a cave entrance. Warning, if you leave any items in this cave, they probably won't remain when you return. Got a whole instance going on here. Well, that's okay. We're just here in the mines, mostly. Where we find a guy. Fallen man. Hope he's not dead. Hey. The guy seems a little down on his luck. If you want to help him, begin. Dream mentor. Accept. Torn clothes, covered in bruises and cuts. This man must have had been down here a long time. He seems to have a pulse. And he's definitely breathing, although very weakly. Let's have a closer inspection of this man. The following screen will show you the man's stats. You can find out more information by clicking on the stat names. His stats will be improving to the bar markers to progress. He's got health, spirit, and armament. He's critical at the moment. Go on a stat bar, health, spirit, or armament to see information about it. Health. Health stat can be improved by feeding him food. Where that he needs variety. He's very picky. So he needs to reach 15%. Spirit can be improved by talking to him and giving reassuring comments. Can't do anything with that. And armament can be used by improving his, him by kitting him out in his armor. Can't do that yet. Okay. Access this interface at any time by selecting inspect option on the man. All right. So the first situation that we saw there was that he is not doing good health-wise, as we can tell by the state that he is in. We're going to feed him some food here. I should feed him. He seems to like it. Cabbage. And that's why we need the three types of food, because he needs variety. Fortunately, he's only getting raw vegetables that we picked up in fields. Give him an onion. He likes that. A raw potato. Go crazy. Here's a cabbage. And that's enough to get him moving, at least. Man takes his food, seems to enjoy it, and opens his eyes. Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Ow, pain. Don't move, don't move. You'll be okay, you'll be okay, you'll be fine. Help me. I will, just stay still. Now, he's doing a little bit better, because he's alive. Conscious, but not very stable. He needs more health and some spirit. So we'll keep feeding him a bit here. Continues to like our food choices. Moving one at a time from the sacks here. We keep going in a good order here. That'll work. And eventually, we don't need to improve his health anymore. Then we need to raise his spirits. Can you hear me? Just about. And then we have options of things we can do to raise his spirits. Obvious choices, which would not help. It's like, I have to leave. It's really dark. What kind of monsters made this cave? We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with ones that will actually probably help. Just don't worry. You think things will turn out okay? Well... Of course. Oh, thanks. I feel a bit better now. And it's just more spirit for him. Did you hear that noise? You're, you're, you're looking better. You're looking better now. You're lying. I look dreadful. No, honest. Really? In what way? Well, you look and sound more lively. Gotta put a positive spin on things here. That's promising. Perhaps I'll make it out of here. Feeling positive? Looking forward to get out? You look so sad. You ready to get out of here? Definitely. A good wash, fresh clothes, a nice meal. All that is the spirit. Thank you. You really, your help really is appreciated. 
we're just talking and giving you food. You seem like a nice guy. Just, just chilling here on the floor, having a great time. Ah, oh, thanks. That's a really nice thing to say. Just being honest. Before it's too late. Yeah, thank you. Right back at you. And now, he's feeling a little bit better. He sits up a bit. You can also see his face start to get looking better here too. Thank you. I'm so pleased you're getting better. You must stay still though, you're not fit to walk yet. Where am I? Who, who are you? My name's Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man Arctic. You're on Lunar Isle in a cave. I'm Cyrusus. Oh yes, I remember. I was on the island and... Sukas. There were Suka monsters. What? They attacked. I ran and ran. I crawled down here. It's okay, it's okay. You're safe now. I am? Yes. I'm so afraid. Oh, and my head hurts and my legs. I'm so tired. Please just leave me. I'm a waste of effort. My body is in ruin. No, just trust me. I'll get I'll see that you get out of here. Don't give up. And now we can see what he needs this time. More health and more spirit. Seems stable. It still needs help. Progress. Progress. Eat this potato. He's enjoying it. He enjoys cabbage. You pretty much give him anything. A few things that don't work very well, like stacked foods and such, but for the most part, just bring whatever. The bagged produce is just the most convenient way to do things. All the inventory space that you don't need to use. I ate the cabbage. See, that's part of the problem. It's like that. And that. Don't need to improve the health anymore. Hmm. Probably won't be able to fix this. Anyway, we might need to just go get more food. That's fine. I don't think there's really any food we can get on Lunar Isle is the problem. But all these are just over in Rolaka anyways, so. Okay. Raising the spirits. Even though we've dashed our own by accidentally eating a cabbage. The classic er error. Okay. When we get out of here, I'll buy you a drink. Really? Naturally. That's nice. What kind? Whatever and wherever you want. My treat. Well, that's really appreciated. Thank you. We're doing what we can. Congratulations on not dying. Very good. I'm very impressed you managed to get into this cave. I must admit, it was hard to crawl this far. Did you not want to give up? I suppose at times I did. I thought so. Not quite. <laughs> I would have given up. That's a lie. I wouldn't have given up. <laughs> Spider! <laughs> You'll survive this easily. I'm not so sure. Come on, think positive. What's the point? Think of all the places you can visit when you get out. That's true. Such possibilities and adventures. Yes, I can't wait. He's trying. What are you gonna do when you get out of here? Well, I don't know. What should I do? If I were you, I'd stay indoors. No. But, yes. But that's up to you. You can travel with me. You do that for me? That sounds marvelous. I'll look forward to it. We're not gonna do that. Okay. What do we think here? Good thing I'm looking after you. What would you do? Quite the coincidence I even found you. You know how long you've been down in this cave? Doesn't sound very raisin spirits here. I'm just here to help. That's true. Not that, not that I'm bragging or anything. <laughs> I'm just being helpful. That's okay. I think you deserve a bit for saving my life. Fair. I'm great. Not long now and you'll be back on your feet. Oh, my friend, you really think so? It kind of depends. On what? Whether we have to amputate your legs. On, on, on whether you mind me helping you further. 
So glad you to have your help. I would never turn it down. I'm glad. And progress continues. And he's literally on his feet. There you go. Thank you, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man Arctic. I would surely be dead without you. No worry. So what are you doing on the island? Exploring. I greatly enjoy traveling the world and taking in all the experiences available. I can relate to that. And Lunar Isle is definitely worth a visit. Where else have you been? Well, I've traveled from the frozen wastes of the wilderness to the pyramids of the Caridian Desert. I've lived with the monkeys on Avatol and dined with the Tsar under the volcano of Karamja. Impressive. You must have a great many stories and mastered loads of skills. You could say that. I could smith you full of rune, farm spirit trees, so I have time to cook a summer pie for tea. Wow, need no need to say more. But why have you had such difficulty with the Tsuka? Surely you're a skilled warrior. Err, well... You must have mastered all forms of combat. No, not really. Why? I, uh... Why? Please, let, let's just have that line of, let's end, let's leave that line of conversation. Oh, okay. If you wish. So, what now? I still don't feel fit enough to go outside. I can also do with some armor. So I could loan you some armor. Oh, there's really no need for that. No need to worry. Oh? Trust me, there's no need. Please just go to the bank on this island. I have a friend working there. Just tell him I sent you. And what does he look like? What's his name? Trust me, when you see him, you'll know. Okay. Oh, and if you want, you can contact me with NPC contact spell and lunar spellbook. Might save you running back and forth. We could do that. Or we could just run back and forth. It's also an option. And we're going to need to get more food here. Potato would have been the next thing here, but that's not quite right. We're going to still need six more things. We've got this potato instead of a cabbage. That's not going to work. So we're going to quickly go run and grab a cabbage, and then it's to the bank on Lunar Isle. A lot of these problems could have been avoided if we had just grabbed more than the absolute minimum food in the first stage. That's all right. Here in the bank, we've got floating guy, floating guy, bird's eye jack. Talk about Cyrus is in the mine, because we're obviously not using the bank. Hi there. This may sound a bit random, but do you know Sarsis? That I do. But I must say, you seem quite familiar too. I do. Mm hmm. Why? You're that insolent fool who insulted my navigational skills. What? Accusing me of navigating in circles. Wait a minute. Now I recognize you. You're the navigator on that ship that first took me to Lunar Isle. The first time I visited this place, your navigation was useless. How dare you, it was a jinx. Ah, of course. Well, if it wasn't for me, you would never reach this place. Oh, behold the great adventurer, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man Arctic. How the world would crumble without you. Oh, the wit. Better than yours. Er, no it's not. Er, yes it is. Er, no it... Wait, stop. Well, let's not do that again. So, why are you working here now? Why, you have a problem with it? Oh, oh no, it's just that the job of banker doesn't seem quite as exotic as pirate. Seems like a step down to me. How dare you? Well, have you know that the job of a banker is far more exciting than that of a pirate. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever you say, mate. It is, and it's an honest living. I was tired of looting and hunting for treasure. It's time to turn my life around. What a heart-touching story. Don't patronize me. Anyway, as I was saying, do you know Sarsis? Yes. Well, he's down in the caves at the north of this island, and I need your help. Listening? Need to get some items out of his bank account? Is that possible? I suppose. Knock yourself out. I suppose he'd better take this chest to carry his stuff. Don't want you losing any of it. Here is Cyrus' bank. Look at all the neat stuff he's got. He's got some logs, dragon chain, Aram's top, Carol's top. 
Mouth water, a chisel, a single anti-poison, one lobster, a hammer, a knife, 1400 magic logs. Should probably use that knife to do some stuff with that. Got an arena book, a small key, a plant pot, two doses of Ceridome and Brew, Dragon Helm. Had one of those in the past. That was a good time. Splickmark Helm, Robin Hood hat, 230,000 coins, an Abyssal Whip, very nice. Ancient Staff, Magic Short Bow, 594 clean Ranars. Hmm. That is some Herbal XP right there. It's got a shark, a bucket, a rope, Torax Plate Legs, a Harem's Rope Skirt, Black D Head Chaps, Infinity Boots, Ranger Boots, Adamant Boots, one Seed Bird Nest, and 52,000 Airs, 3,500 Bloods, and 9,800 Cosmic Runes. What we need to do is get him a set of equipment. You would think, yeah, make make a logical set of things which make sense and are actually good. But he said he isn't good at combat. So instead, we're just going to throw some random stuff in here. Which is only slightly random. But that'll work. One box full of some stuff. This may or may not have different loadouts that he goes with, depending on your stats and everything. We are technically magic based, since we have 88 magic and the combat changes. Attack and strength would have been making us melee based before, with 80 in both. Let's see if this is what he wants. Continue to not drop your things in instances and lose them forever. It's a dangerous proposition. Sarsis. Talking about armament. I've been to see Bird's Eye Jack and I've got a chest. Also filled with some armor, what do you think? Okay, I'll try it on, no peeking. Oh, I won't, I'll close my eyes. We close our eyes. Still changing. Hmm. Perfect. I couldn't ask for a better setup. Excellent. You really could, though. Especially with Evolution of Combat. An Abyssal Whip with Aram's top and skirt. That's going to have massively reduced accuracy. Not that he's going to attack with it anyways, but oh well. Now he just needs some more health. Use the cabbage. Also doesn't help that the different options here aren't the same. Rejects the food, he would rather some variety. I just gave you a cabbage. How about an onion? Rather some variety. Potato. Potato first. Try to change the loot settings there. Go backwards. Here's a potato. Here's the food, he seems to enjoy it. Then a cabbage. Enjoys the cabbage. Use an onion. Enjoyed that. Here's a potato. Delicious. Here's a cabbage. Fantastic. Really enjoying the three different things. You could also try bringing 20 different things. Wouldn't change anything, but that would be quite the variety. And that is enough of that. So now, it's full there. It's doing much better now. Spirit. Health to 100%. Maxed. Maxed. Let's have more chance here. Looking good in your kit. Thanks. Very good. And you're also sounding much better. My voice, you mean? Yes, much more positive, which is great. Thanks. Couldn't have been much less positive than just writhing in pain on the ground. If you need anything, just let me know. Will do. He's quite the adventurer. How about a joke? As long as we can do a good joke. Please, I don't... How does the queen bee get around her hive? Okay, go on. She's thrown. That was bad. We're terrible at this. You're very, very safe in this little cave. Nothing could get in here. I suppose I am. 
This will never fit through that tunnel. Very true. I think I picked a good spot. Could have done worse. They, they never really come down into the essence mine anyways, so... You never know, though. Things can happen. Tell me a bit about yourself. Me? Yes, you. Well, I grew up in Ardoin. Um, I quite enjoy fishing. Fishing! What? I like fishing, too. Level 88. It's pretty good. Perhaps we can fish together one day. I'd love that. And... We're good. Just don't worry. It'll turn out okay? Well, of course. I feel a lot better now. And with that, he is feeling up for the challenge. Perfect. I feel healthy, I'm positively charged, and I'm dressed like a war machine. Excellent. You certainly look the part. Why, thanks. I feel it, too. Now, Sarsis, please tell me. Why did you have such difficulty against the Sukas? Ah, uh, well, best I tell you, the, the thing is, the thing I should say, the problem I have, for which you should know, just tell me. Okay. I'm afraid of combat. What? I've tried so hard over the years, but I simply cannot gather the courage to fight monsters. I've learned the techniques, I've got the equipment, just get so afraid, legs turn to jelly and I'm dripping with sweat, all I can do is run. Now that surprises me. I know it seems bad, but honestly, I've tried. It's part of the reason I came to Lunar Isle to see the Moon Clan. I trust you've gone through the ceremony to visit the Dreamland? I have indeed. A very strange day, I must say, but very valuable, especially gaining the Lunar Spells. Yes, so I've come to the Moon Clan again see if they could help me visit my dreams and conquer my fear of combat. But then I came across the Suka. Say, would you come with me to the Oneromancer? Perhaps you can give me some support or guidance. Well, I suppose. Can't see why not. Excellent. Please, you go on ahead. I'll make my way there myself. I'm not walking out of this cave past the Suka again. It does beg the question of how he completed the entering the dreamland business when you need to make the lunar set made of suka hide maybe you just found some suka hide lying on the ground somewhere questionable that's for sure they're touching me they're not that strong Let's see if we get information from him of where he trained his combat since he clearly has some stats here since he can wield all that equipment and it's some decent equipment, all things considered. Some of the better stuff that you can get. Even the best stuff. Like the whip and the arams and the ranger boots. Dragon medium helmet, less so. That's okay. Oh, Neromancer. What are you talking about? Sarasus. Hello again. Oh, hello, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man Arctic. It has been a while. Yeah, not really. Keep on sh coming over here to rebuy the Lunar Staff every time I have to destroy it. What brings you here again? Creating more astral runes? Oh, not at the moment. I come on behalf of a friend. You'll probably have met him. His name is Cyrusus. Oh, yes, I know of him. A bright man. What is about? What is this about him, my dear? Well, I... He teleports in. Oh, my. Hello. Cyrusus, it's been a while. Your friend here was just talking about you. Good. I hope he was... We were hoping you could help us. Yes, I can try. I need to get over my fear of combat. Surely I can sort that out in the dreamland. Of course. With the potion of shared dreaming. It'll send you both into the dreamland and sort out your biggest issue. Sounds simple. In most ways, yes. However, it will be dangerous. Why? To get you into the dream together... The potion works by binding your subconsciousnesses. Subconsciousnesses. Together. The brazier has its own intelligence in interpreting your subconscious, so it will understand your intentions when placing you in the dream. Okay. I shall just take your word for that bit, but I still can't see the dangerous part. With your minds melted as one, you'll need each other 
to survive. If one of you dies, you both die for real. Unlike before, you'll die just as if you were killed by a monster in the wild. I'm not so sure about this anymore. Ah, don't worry, Sarsis. We can do this. Under our answer, how do we make this potion? Simple. I should give you a vial of liquid within which you should place one ground astral rune. Then just use it on the brazier. Oh, you'll have to light it first, of course. Very well. Good luck. Wait, do we need to wear the clothes we had to wear to go to the dreamland before? Oh, no, no need. They were simply ceremonial clothes. You can wear whatever you want. Thanks. See you at the brazier. And away he goes. And here we get Dream Vial Herb. A vial containing water and gout weed. They were originally just given us the vial, potentially with water. And then we have to use the gout weed. Oh, there you go. And then we need the ground astral runes, which we need to bring to an anvil. There's still an anvil on the island here. I also don't need these sacks. We'll get rid of these. And obviously, with all the combat coming up, we are going to need to get some food here. I'm thinking we should probably be able to get away with not using all the runes to teleport until we use up all the runes and put the coins in miscellanea and destroy the lunar staff and all that. But if we need to, we can do that. There is ways to leave the combat here. I'll be okay. Astral rune on an anvil with a hammer to crush it up. Grind it with a pestle mortar. Use it on the dream vial. Drop the hammer. Drop the pestle. Gonna need the seal, the tinderbox for the dream potion. We could potentially juggle an extra shark over here. We're gonna see if just this much is enough. If not, we can always retreat and get more. But this is, in fact, dangerous. So we need to be prepared. All right, here we go. There's Cyrus's and the brazier. Okay, I have the potion of shared dreaming. Now what? Unless you like the brazier and the tinderbox first, then give me the potion. All right. There's a situation where we could probably drop the tinderbox and bring another food in here. That's okay. Use the potion with Cyrus's. Okay, I have the potion of shared dreaming. Now what? Pass it to me, I'll put on the brazier, okay? Warning! You can proceed into the dream, but if you die, you will lose all your items and have to find your way back to the island. The lectern in the dream has a right-click option to leave should you want a fast exit. Good to know. Also, prayer doesn't work. Everything's resistant to poison. And safe spots exist. Many things to consider. Let's go into the dream. Ah! What on Gilinor is that? Hmm. Cyrusus? Cyrusus? That lectern is rather pretty. Cyrusus? Yes? Turn around, please? Huh? Ah! Ah! What's that? Don't ask me, it's your dream! What? A monstrosity. You must be really afraid of combat! This is... Quite the monster. Why? What do you mean, why? This huge creature must symbolize your fears! I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna be fighting my fears. Cyrus, let's do this. I'm still scared. Show me how you fight, and I should gain courage. Alright, I'll do this. The inadequacy, are you good enough to fight? We are highly adequate. Attack, the inadequacy. The bosses are fairly powerful. Our accuracy is not great. They have their stance massively nerfed with the evolution of combat. And then rebuffed quite significantly 
in 2016. So they still do some damage. Also getting attacked by the doubts here too, which is not great. But the inadequacy is definitely the biggest threat. He's the biggest guy. Combo level also used to be higher. When he gets courage, he goes and does an attack or something. And he's, he's trying. Just need to keep our health up. Also, the ring of life doesn't work here. Lots of things to consider. The everlasting. Can you endure long enough? Here he comes. And should be able to save spot in here. Everlasting. Potentially more health or stronger something. He just attacks sometimes when he gets enough courage. Or casts vengeance on us or whatever. Take this. He's teleporting around. He's having a good time. Take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even safe spot, it's not too bad of a problem. The untouchable. Can you bring yourself to hurt another? Where are you going? Need to lure him over this way. These, besides the first one, don't have range attacks, so it's kind of pretty easy. We even have vengeance here. We technically use. Not really necessary. He's hitting a little bit of damage before he gets too afraid to fight again. And the fourth phase, the elusive. What if you don't know how to win? And we did the vengeance. And the elusive likes to dig around the entire area here. Cyrus, where did you go? He's popped underneath the elusive and now he's invisible. That's eh, probably fine. Maybe he'll get some more courage and then reappear. He has fallen out of the dream world. That's good. Take this. Ah, there's back. All the little digging of the elusive here. Very annoying little guy. Oh yeah. Plenty of food. And the last hit nailed it. Now, 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 Cersus, get it! Okay, take this! Squish. <laughs> Much easier than the inadequacy at the start there, my goodness. You did it! I did, yes, thanks! I knew you'd do it. What now? Back to reality, I suppose. And on to the Oh Never Mancer. See you there. Okay. And we exit the dream. What a state. What a situation. Yeah, not too bad. To be fair, though, we do have 82 range. And a level appropriate-ish weapon. So, shouldn't have been super challenging. Man. Yeah. Managed quite easily there. Even though they were buffed somewhat, they're still a bit weaker than they would have been in 2007. Well, that's okay. We deal with the changes as they come. You can whack bazookas. And we're back. You did it! No, we did it. Thank you, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man Arctic. It really is appreciated. Ah, no worries. It was fun. Well, I'm not sure I enjoyed getting Almost getting killed, but yes, it was good. It was a time. How about Cyrus's? We did it. You did? Yes, I've conquered my fear of combat. We beat those monsters well and good, didn't we? We sure did. I was very afraid to start off with, but once I saw how you dealt with combat, I felt sure I could do it too. Oh, I'm pleased. Congratulations. Thank you, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man, Arctic. I really couldn't have done it without your help. Please, let me pass some of my knowledge on to you. Okay, in what way? On my last visit to this island, I spent a good while with the Moon Clan. It seems it isn't all that impossible to instantly transfer knowledge to one another. Huh. 
I shall use Lunar Magic to pass some information onto you. Just keep your mind blank, relax, and hold still. Magic information. Oh, that was a weird sensation. I must admit, I do feel enlightened already. Thank you. My pleasure. And I best be off. I think I'm going to put my courage to the test. I have a new goal to reach. The ultimate warrior. Be careful. I will. I'll see you around, I'm sure. Quest complete. Two quest points. A lamp here. Or 15,000 combat XP. There's really only hit points, so that's what we're going to choose. 10,000 magic, 15,000 kind of, no, 15,000 hit points XP is here. So the 15,000 combat XP lamp is actually usable. Mount attack or prayer, though, for some reason. Eight new lunar spells, possibly seven, possibly nine. It's kind of weird. And access to random option on the NPC contact. So, that's something. Start with our dreamy lamp here. Remember the lamp and a little voice inside squeaks at you. What do you want? What? Do you just talk? Well, of course. Would you ignore someone that rubbed you? Uh, I don't know what I expected. How rude. Now do me a favor and answer the following question so I can put an end to this rudeness. Sure, go ahead. I can grant you a one-off experience boost to one of the following skills. Which would you like? And be quick. Strength, range, magic, constitution, defense. We're gonna go with ranged. Kind of at the point here where we can train ranged. Mostly just with the crystal bow though. And that costs money. Magic's just gonna happen from all the magic we're gonna need to do later. For super heating for smithing. And melee is free, so. Ranged, please! 15,000 rage XP. Have you satisfied? Goodbye! And the lamp is gone. Mm, there you go. Not enough XP in any of those to get a level or anything. Well, that's okay. And if we pray at the Astral Altar, we can see some new Astral Spells. Some of these are still locked behind other things. We have unlocked a few new spells here. Some of which should still be here. We've got Monster Examine. See details about the target creature, such as maximum hit, Possibly weakness, amount of health. Nothing we really need to worry about since the wiki exists. We've got humidify. Fill all containers in your backpack with water, like vials or jugs to make wines or something. That's yeah, okay. We've got hunter kit. Contra selection of useful hunter equipment. It's like going to a hunter shop, except it costs astro runes. Interesting. Can be useful to get certain things out of there if you really need it. We've got Stamped Spy. See details about the targeted player, such as their skill levels. Also something we can just do by examining players now. And not really something we really need to worry about too often. Super Glass Make, which may have already been a spell and then was later changed to be on requirement from Dream Mentor for some reason. Because the spell existed previously and it's not required in old school to have Dream Mentor done. But now it is, it seems. Make glass out of seaweed or soda ash and a bucket of sand. Sometimes makes additional glass. Much more helpful when the shop that has buckets of sand and seaweed has more than like zero in stock and you can hop worlds and get more. Super glass make, not useful for us. We've got other the things in here, like dream. Enter a dreamlike state, causing your life points to regenerate at 10 times the normal rates, which could be an effective replacement for our fire cape shenanigans where we're supposed to heal and not take damage. We just dreamt our way through there. That would have been fine. Would have taken up three more inventory spaces for all of the body, cosmic, and nature runes. 
We had more than that to spare, so. Dreaming our way through the fight caves would have been just as reasonable. And we didn't need to finish the fight caves, so. This is a possibility we need to do that again. Which we really shouldn't. Not an option to potentially be on Lunars here. Although it does make teleporting around more awkward. We've also got Plank Make. Convert the targeted log into a plank. It costs pretty much the same cost as bringing it to the sawmill, but also a bunch of runes. We've just got a demon butler that does that for us. So we're not going to worry about that. And lastly, Spellbook Swap. Swap to a different spellbook for one spell cast. You can choose which one to go to instead of having a interface here. So swap to standard spells, cast one spell, and then swap and it swaps back. So technically, with 96 magic, you could be on lunars, spellbook swap, use a regular teleport, and it switches back. It's not the most convenient for most things, but it does exist. Back to regular spells for me, though. That's okay. And that was Dream Mentor. Definitely one of the more challenging combat scenarios for quests, at least at this point in time. We managed. And we managed quite well. All the training continues to be good. And we're going to train some more. A few other things here. See how far we can get. It's going to get expensive. But it will look interesting. And then other things will look interesting. And then more things and stuff. Next time. Goodbye.